It is an absolute beautiful day. It is December 4th and it is like 65 degrees outside. So I'm on my morning walk on the trail. You can see better now so I'm not too worried about bear. But it is absolutely gorgeous and I swear I just heard an eagle so I stopped to see if I can't catch it. Look at the sky. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot believe it is December 4th and I'm out here with no earmuffs, nothing. And it's this beautiful. Of course, I didn't have my camera rolling when I thought I saw an eagle. But look at this. Look at the sky. Ah, it's just gorgeous. By the river. It is so beautiful. I love being outside. So hopefully, hopefully on my continued walk, I will catch an eagle. That would really, I, I swear I just heard it. I see big nests. I'll say my dog yanking me all over. Look, he's like, are you done talking to that thing in your hand? Can we go now? <laughs> but it's so beautiful, guys. So happy to be outside. We're gonna do some Christmas decorating today. We got the news last night. We're not moving. The people didn't get the loan. So my life update is we're staying. We'll put the house back up in spring. So we're gonna do some Christmas decorating today. It'll be fun. It'll keep me busy. Hi guys, I am out super early. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but we are going to get some bad storms today. So there's a break, it's super windy, but there's a break. So I was like, hurry up, get dressed, Missy. <laughs> Go take your walk before it pours. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I am taking my walk before the storms roll in. It is not supposed to be a very nice day here at all. Um, the wind is really starting to pick up But the temps aren't that bad. It's not that cold today But today I thought it'd be nice to share um, a low-carb Fajita or as my husband calls them fajitas <laughs> recipe with you guys and uh, I'll share some of my Christmas home decor and Today's not my official weigh-in day but I did check my weight to see if what I'm doing is working. And I am down two pounds from Thanksgiving. So, praise Jesus, the December challenge is working. <laughs> so I hope the December challenge is helping all of you guys get motivated and, you know, gives you a little like jumping off point, so to speak, to know kind of what to do to start 
or you're like in a little rut where maybe you can get a little pick me up if you need it. I needed a little pick me up. So this is definitely helping me and it's working. I've lost two pounds. So what's today? The sixth? That's not too bad. Well, it's been a little longer than six days because, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, I got back on track. <laughs> so if anybody's just joining in, I gained four pounds over um, Thanksgiving break. We traveled to New Jersey to see family and Jersey caught up with me, <laughs> but I am down too. So hopefully when I do my weigh in, I think I'm going to weigh in next week. Um, I will have lost that four and maybe another pound or two because my December challenge is working. And like I said, if you guys are new and just joining, um, I can link it down below. It's the video before this one. I'm doing a December challenge. Anybody can join. I'm not going to go through all the details. Watch the video if you're interested, but it's a good challenge. And if you need that little extra oomph in the month of December, because it can be hard to keep on track. This challenge might just be for you. So it is really dark and yucky. I'm out super early, earlier than I usually walk, but, and it's starting to drizzle. I can see little raindrops on my phone. So I better hightail it and get this walk going. <laughs> I want to at least get a mile in before the rain rain comes. So I'd like to get three in, but I don't know. We'll see. It's looking a little scary. So my dog, he's destroying the park. With his craziness, look at him. <laughs> so, we're gonna get our walk on and I'll see you at home. So, I am home from my walk and I'm going to get my fajitas on. And I decided to put them in my slow cooker and let them cook all day so that they would be delicious and tender and good. So I got two yellow peppers and one orange pepper. They're like my favorite besides red peppers. I really don't like green, but these ones don't seem to bother my stomach as much. So I'm going to get them sliced up in long, thin slices, slice up an onion and chunk up my chicken in nice slices. And we're going to get it in the crock pot. So this makes one of the best desserts everywhere and ever. It's like a chocolate mousse. Now they do have sugar-free Cool Whip, but sugar-free Cool Whip has aspartame in it and so does sugar-free Jell-O. If I didn't get awful headaches from sugar-free things, I would use sugar-free, but I could not find like light Jell-O. They only have sugar-free and sugar-free Jell-O has aspartame in it it's a pudding and so does cool whip but the light does have less calories and less sugar Let's see less fat than the average witch topping which is good enough for me so the thing that i would like to tell you guys because it's right after there it's after the exanthium gum um in the sugar free it says um aspartame but um what I would want to tell you guys, though, is if you did get the sugar-free Cool Whip and the sugar-free um, chocolate pudding, you could have a cup of this. But because I didn't get the sugar-free, I only got the light and I got regular Jello because I am not, I am not, the, the, the headaches from aspartame are unreal. So I will only eat a half a cup of this. I'll cut this in half for myself. So... If you do get sugar-free on both ends, you can have a cup, but if you get, like I have here, I would only do a half a cup. I'm gonna whip this up and show you how I serve it. And face is always ready to taste test if I need it. Okay, so that's what it whips up into. And then 
what you do is you get a measuring spoon and you put a teaspoon of, if you like semi-sweet, I like milk chocolate, milk chocolate little chips on top. I'll show you. I'm just going to eat a little spoonful because we're not supposed to be eating a whole bunch of sweets for the month of December. But I've had lots of people ask me, what do you do when you're having chocolate cravings, sweet cravings? And I get those once at a blue moon. For me, it's very rare. I struggle more with um, salty food, like chips are my biggest thing. I want to binge chips, dip. I have thyroid, so my thyroid screams for salt because there's iodine in it. So, like, this stuff is okay. You know, I can do without. But, like, in the evenings, I salivate for chips, popcorn, you know, that kind of stuff. But if you have a chocolate craving and you need it done and you can handle sugar-free Jello and sugar-free Cool Whip, I would definitely go that route. If you're like myself and any fake sugars give you horrible headaches, then you might have to do this. Your portions just need to be sw smaller. Okay, so you're just going to top it with a few little chocolate chips. You know, you can do a half a cup of this, whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to taste a spoonful of it. My daughter has stolen the bowl. I think this is pretty good. Is it good? <laughs> so, let's dry it. Okay, guys. So, I said no chocolate, but we're going to try a little bite. Oh my god. That tastes like like you know when you were a kid and you got to lick the spatula of when your mom made chocolate cake or brownies? That's what that tastes like. And you would only need a spoonful of this. Half a cup might be too much. If you like if I'm not a chocoholic, so this was really rich. And this will definitely curb any, any chocolate cravings you may have. Absolutely. Hold on one sec. I'm the saltaholic. She's the chocoholic. So we'll see what she says. It's rich, huh? Does it taste like batter to you? Like cake batter? Like... Yeah, like, no, you're not getting that. <laughs> no, you eat that spoon and that's enough. We'll eat a little bit as the week goes. Yeah, if not, Jesse tries to steal it. No. What do you think? It was pretty good stuff, huh? Listen, if you get an A plus from the chocoholic over there, this is some good shizola. And no, you're not getting that. No. And uh, top it with some... Uh, chocolate chips for me a spoonful of this would do just fine that'll curb any chocolate cravings I may have if you got to have lots of chocolate maybe a half a cup even if you use the sugar-free I don't know I might still do a half a cup it's pretty rich but there you go that's my recipe for curbing chocolate cravings okay guys I'm gonna steam some riced cauliflower and make a um, fajita bowl if you will while the rest of the family eats the fajitas look at that oh it looks so good you know the regular way but i'm gonna put mine over collie rice and make like a bowl out of it with all the jugans i wish you guys could smell this this is amazing you love fajitas mm -mm -mm. so let's get the collie rice steamed and then i'll show you my bowl. so while the rice is steaming i have all the good jugans we have salsa, cilantro, cheese, sour cream. You can put lettuce. You can put black olives. You can really, really go out. This is going to be my bowl. I'm going to do one cup of riced cauliflower and then put the um, fajitas on top. And I will put a little bit of the juice because the cauliflower rice will soak it all up. And then I'm going to top it with all of these yummy jugans. Yeah, 
thought these were dishes were clean. They are. Mom. Sure you do. <laughs> um, you can make your own. But I like how mama does it. And then I'm getting a new video. Did you get some juice? Mm -mm. I'm good with this. There you go. That is my fajita bowl. This is Savannah's. She wanted to eat hers in a bowl instead of on a wrap. So, yummy, yummy. I love lots of cilantro. That looks delicious. That's dinner, y'all. Dinner. Guys, that fajita bowl was banging. Just some broth left in there. That was so good. So that was a cup of steamed collie rice and then about a cup and a half because it's just chicken and vegetables on top with a little, like I used a teaspoon. I'm sure you saw as I was doing it. Um, maybe not a teaspoon, probably a spoon. So a spoonful of salsa, a spoonful of sour cream, a little sprinkle of cheese and lots and lots of cilantro in my opinion it makes it the best that was really really good and I have about a half a crock pot left that'll make a fantastic lunch tomorrow because you know how anything that you make in the slow cooker crock pot instant pot whatever you want to call it when you leave it in the fridge in the next day it's always better I guess because I guess because it sits in the juices longer and stuff so tomorrow that's probably even gonna be better it's gonna make a fantastic lunch I thoroughly enjoyed that and that was really good I give that two thumbs up for sure so I'm getting ready to put my pajamas on but I just got the mail and I got my new hat uh, of course in my favorite color and why is it that when you look at your mirror you can't see crap on it, but when you look at your mirror through your phone, you see all of the crap. I gotta clean this mirror. But anyways, I ordered a new hat. It's the Messy Bun Beanie Tail by C.C. I don't know if that has like a special name or something like this. I'm new to like brands. You guys know I buy all my crap from the <laughs> Dollar Tree. But I saw this and see it has a little hole. Oop. My, 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 uh, vlogging skills lacking, but anyways, my favorite color, it's knitted and it has the little hole up here for your pony. I'm like, oh my God. So I went and got a new scarf and new gloves too, to match my new hat. My gloves and my scarf are coming from the Dollar Tree, but I did pay, I think this was $15. I ordered it off of Amazon. I'm going to try it on and see what it looks like. I am so excited. Look, 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 my, my skills, my skills have to improve. Just my little pony. Oh, I love it. And of course, you know me. I love teal. Teal is my color. You know what's crazy is I just ate maybe about 45 minutes ago, if that, um, the fajita bowls. And look, I'm completely breaking out. I don't know if you guys can see. And I, do you see it? And I think it's because of cheese, cheese and sour cream. This is why I use silk when I use my cereal, when I eat cereal, I really think I have an allergy to dairy. So I had a little bit of cheese and some sour cream 
and I am in like 45 minutes because if you you saw my video earlier when I was talking I didn't have these on my cheeks and now I do but anyways look isn't it freaking adorable I love this this little knit ah oh, so stinking cute wait to see it with my my well I wore my scarf this morning my scarf and I got gloves to match so when we get a really cold day I'll be styling I love getting new things like this for walking of course you know I'll remove the tags but <laughs> it's so stinking cute I got a cream on my face my doctor prescribed me um this oh this to help with my face when I have these weird outbreaks. Can you guys see the better now? You see this? And it's like when I eat dairy. But I like my hat. I'm super happy with it. So, oh, I'm getting one up on my eye. That just came, like that just appeared while I was talking. So weird, guys. And my face is getting red. See, I thought I had rosacea. So I bought this stuff. This stuff makes this stuff 10 times worse. So that's why my doctor subscribed me to this. And this does work pretty well. It's just like I can't have sour cream. And cheese is a not a huge part, but it is a big part of like a low carb diet. Um, you know, you use cheese on a lot of stuff, but I think I'm going to have to cut down on it <sighs> unless I can find you know, silk cheese, like does silk brand make cheese? I don't know. Almond milk, almond milk people make cheese. I don't know. Anyways, I'm blabbing, but I love my hats. The sky looks crazy tonight. It's really windy. I just saw some YouTubers had tornadoes. Not coming my way, but wow, the sky looks crazy tonight. And it is really cold and very windy. So I just got in my jammies and I'm going to catch up on some of my favorite YouTubers. I just put cream on my face. I hope it helps by morning. But I'm going to put on some of my favorite YouTube and I am going to start, oh, stuff. I'm going to start wrapping. I'm still drinking my water. I know I get sidetracked, guys. I'm going to start wrapping all of my pictures. See my pictures on my wall? I'm going to wrap all of them in buffalo check. And I bought beautiful bows and everything to bring in all of the buffalo check that I have going on in my living room. So I'm going to leave all the teal, you know, all the teal things up. So the teal comes through because my colors are red and black, buffalo check and teal, but the pictures will tie in. So I think I'm going to sit on the floor. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and they're getting their Christmas tree in. <laughs> I'm going to watch some YouTube and wrap pictures. That's how I'm going to spend my evening and finish my second jug of water before bed. Wrapping pictures and watching YouTube. Look, my jammies match my paper. <laughs> you gonna do this? You're gonna try? You better do it right. Don't you mess up my pictures. I'll have to kill you. Do you want to turn the lights off? Like <laughs> All right, let's do this.